Hi, my name is Frederick and you're listening to the astrology forecast for the month of December 2023. For this forecast, I would start off with a brief overview of my forecast for the previous month of November before the forecast of the current month of December. Now, in my November forecast last month, I foresaw unexpected changes and communication hurdles that would take place typically in the workplace and romantic life, especially in the later part of the month. Rising tensions filled the later part of November as Mars squares Saturn, Moon squares Pluto, and Venus forms a quincunx to Uranus. Abrupt changes to plans and owing to the fact that things will only get worse if one were to lose control of his or her temper in the month of November. December is marked by the need for balance and careful navigation in business and political relationships. It is a month where there is a strong emphasis on re-evaluation and careful communication because Mercury retrograde will begin in the middle of December and the breakdown of communication will likely occur more frequently in the later part of the month, closer to Christmas. So, if you are planning to travel during the Christmas season, you would have to be mentally prepared for some possible flight delays, poor internet connectivity and or poor phone reception during your journey. It is even possible that you might end up feeling frustrated with the bad online traffic and to avoid that, make advanced preparation for your trip so that you don't have to rely so much on the internet when you arrive at your destination. If you're renting an internet router for Wi-Fi connection before your trip during Mercury retrograde, ensure that every item is inside the bag. No missing adapters or wires, or else your trip will be compromised and your internet connection will be cut short. And with that said, here is the astrology forecast for December 2023. Now on December 1st, 2023 at 10.31pm plus 8 GMT, Mercury's ingress into Capricorn in the 6th house brings a pragmatic approach to communication in workplaces and health sectors. Expect a focus on structure and efficiency in the way work processes are run within these sectors. The Sun-Mars conjunction in Sagittarius in the fifth house indicates a burst of creative and entrepreneurial energy, but the square with Saturn and Pisces in the eighth house warns of potential financial or resource-related challenges, particularly in international ventures and investments. In short, it would be nice to feel like you are positive about starting your new business venture or launching an initiative in your business. Yet a word of caution is to remain prudent with other people's resources. The moon in Cancer in a 12th house opposite Pluto in Capricorn suggests emotional undercurrents affecting public health and service sectors. When things are unspoken or not discussed, it does not mean that it is not an issue. It's better to surface whatever that it is in need of resolving before Mercury retrogrades this month. In addition, the Moon squaring Venus in Libra in the third house could lead to diplomatic tensions, especially in communications and trade agreements. On 5th December 2023 at 2.50am plus 8 GMT, Venus moves into Scorpio in the second house, intensifying focus on financial strategies and resource management. It's Opposition to Jupiter in Taurus in the 8th house suggests a need for balance in financial partnerships and investments. Businesses should be cautious of overexpansion during this period of time. It would be good to exercise caution on matters relating to finances and investments. Recession is ahead for Europe and America and so you might want to invest wisely as you prepare to witness some sell-off soon in 2024. Now, the trine with Saturn in Pisces in the sixth house indicates stable growth in healthcare and service sectors come 2024. This sector will do well. The moon in Virgo in the twelfth house, squaring Mars in Sagittarius in the third house, may bring critical analysis to international communications, potentially impacting diplomatic relations. On the following day, Neptune stations direct in the 9th house on 6 December 2023 at 9.22 p.m. 8 plus 8 GMT. Now, this marks the beginning of some clarity and progress in the context of international relations, higher education, and religious matters. 
Its queen comes with the south node in the fourth house, suggests a need to reconcile past issues with current global ideologies. Now, the new moon in Sagittarius in the first house on December 13, 2023, at 7:31 a.m. plus 8 GMT, symbolizes a powerful time for initiating personal transformations and new projects there might be a surge of optimism and desire to explore new paths whether it is a change of career or adopting a new philosophical outlook on life however the square with neptune may bring confusion or idealism to these areas adding a layer of complexity as such there could be unrealistic expectations about these new personal ventures you might be undertaking do ask yourself important questions before proceeding towards the newer goals as you might find yourself grappling with idealistic visions that are not entirely grounded in reality. Be wise to fully consider the practicalities or potential risks involved in your career pursuits or newer pursuits. Mercury's retrograde in the 10th house on this day at 3.09 p.m. plus 8 GMT warns of miscommunications in business and political leadership, necessitating careful review of plans and decisions. This is a critical time for business owners and politicians. Be very vigilant when reading emails or signing contracts because any misstep could lead to delays or disputes in business transactions. Political leaders might also face challenges in conveying their messages clearly to the public or within their own administrations. Any slight mistake during this time could result in unwanted controversy. On 22nd of December 2023 at 11.27 a.m. plus 8 GMT, as the sun enters Capricorn and positions itself in the 11th house, there is a collective shift towards setting and achieving long-term goals. So Capricorn, known for its discipline and focus on achievement, influences the collective energy, especially within organizations and governments. Now, this transit emphasizes responsibility, structure, and pragmatic progress towards societal and communal objectives. Therefore, a government might launch a long-term environmental sustainability program or a corporation could initiate a multi-year strategy for technological innovation. The Sun's conjunction with Mercury retrograde brings critical reassessment of strategies. And we have a Sun Mercury Kazemi at 2 p.m. plus 8 GMT. Past decisions and methods are likely to be questioned and re-evaluated that includes business model in the light of new market realities and also in the context of global diplomacy reassessing foreign policy strategies are likely to occur the trine with jupiter retrograde in taurus in the third house suggests beneficial developments in trade and communication provided past issues are addressed it is not a comfortable thing for people or nations to bring up the past or reassess issues that need to be addressed or resolved but if it is a necessity to ensure progress and positive closure, it would be better to do so than to keep the hatchet buried. Now on 23rd of December 2023 at 2.17 p.m. plus 8 GMT, Mercury retrogrades back into Sagittarius in the ninth house, suggesting a significant refocus on broadening horizon, particularly in the realms of international affairs and higher education. However, with Mercury in retrograde, this period calls for a careful re-examination rather than the initiation of new policies or educational reforms. Now, in the context of international policies, governments might find themselves revisiting and analyzing previous international commitments such as foreign policies, trade agreements, or diplomatic ties, possibly due to emerging global challenges or changing political landscapes. A country might consider or reconsider its stance in an international climate agreement taking into account of new environmental data or economic factors. Concurrently, universities and educational institutions might reevaluate the curriculum focusing on inclusivity and global perspectives. However, due to Mercury retrograde, these changes could face delays 
or require revisions, uh, reflecting a need to ensure that new educational models are comprehensive and well thought out. Two days later on Christmas Day, 25th of December 2023, at 2.11 p.m. plus 8 GMT, Mercury retrograde forms a conjunction with Mars at 5 degrees in the ninth house. Now, this planetary alignment can bring a heightened sense of assertiveness or even aggressiveness in discussions and negotiations concerning international and legal matters. Mars is often associated with war assertions, anger, and conflicts, and when combined with the reflective nature of Mercury retrograde, could lead to heated debates or disputes in the international arena. Diplomats and international leaders may find discussions more contentious than usual, with greater risk of misunderstandings leading to diplomatic tensions. There could be a resurgence of unresolved issues between countries, perhaps related to trade disputes or territorial claims. In legal context, this aspect may see an increase in international litigation cases where parties are more inclined to assert their positions strongly. Now, during this period, avoid making impulsive decisions and communications. It is a festive season, but it's also vital to think before speaking, ensuring that words and actions contribute to constructive solutions rather than exacerbating conflicts. If you are gathering with friends and relatives for Christmas, avoid talking about politics as this, you know, this could lead to some internal warfare, which is totally uncalled for. Exercise balance with assertiveness and a deep understanding of the complexities involved in these global matters. On December 27th, 2023, at 8.33 a.m. plus 8 GMT, the full moon in Cancer casts its reflective light, emphasizing the importance of emotional connections and nurturing within families and communities. This luminary event may stir a collective yearning for comfort and security, prompting a deeper focus on domestic policies and public welfare. The governments and organizations might find themselves more attuned to the needs of the populace, potentially leading to the implementation of policies that bolster social safety nets or enhance community you know, support systems. For individuals, this could be a time of heightened emotional awareness and a desire to connect more deeply with loved ones. On the following day, on 28th of December 2023, at 8.27 a.m. plus 8 GMT, the conjunction of Mercury retrograde with Mars at zero degrees, exactly brings a different social and political climate. Now, this alignment suggests a potential for assertive, if not aggressive, communication, particularly in the realms of higher education and religious institutions. Uh, debates may become more heated and discussions could escalate into conflicts if not handled with care. Academic institutions might face contentious discussions over curriculum changes or educational policies, while religious organizations could experience debates over philosophical or ethical matters. The key during this time is to channel this assertive energy constructively, using it to advocate for positive changes while avoiding unnecessary conflicts. As the month concludes on 30th of December 2023 at 4.23am plus 8 GMT, Venus's movement into Sagittarius in the second house can bring a more optimistic and a desire for expansion towards financial matters. This transit encourages a more adventurous approach to finances, possibly inspiring individuals and businesses to explore new investment opportunities or innovative revenue streams. However, be cautious against overindulgence or neglecting practical considerations. Wisdom is needed for calculated risks and an oversight in this area is not an option. Now, overall, December 2023 is going to be a month of excitement, positivity, and hope towards expansion for the coming year in 2024. It's a month that calls for the need to be balanced and cautious in navigating the realms of business ventures and diplomatic relations. Last but not least, December 2023 may not be as festive centric as before as tensions are rising in the horizon of the new year that is fast approaching. 
And so this is the astrology forecast for the month of December 2023 and how the planetary transits affect your broad tendencies to living your life. These forecasts are a general guide and may play out differently based on individual charts. Nonetheless, astrology adds tremendous value and insights into the mundane matters in your life, but much of your desired outcome is determined by your conscious choices and decision. I am extremely passionate and enthusiastic in making astrological forecasts for businesses, relationships and career. My clients have also obtained their desired breakthroughs and outcome, not only because they believe in themselves, but rather they trust in the process of reforming their approaches and strategies after gaining insights into their birth charts. And what better and quicker way to succeed is to hop on to my one year business astrology coaching program, where you will discover how to leverage on your inner good fortune through the selections of major and minor peak periods, suitable dates for taking calculated risk or starting a joint business venture, equipping yourself with effective strategies and mental frameworks to achieve your breakthroughs and outcomes you never thought possible. Now visit theancientastrologer.com slash home for more information. With that said, if you are stuck or experiencing a life situation that requires professional and immediate assistance, get yourself a good astrologer like yours truly to help walk you through your professional goals in your business or career or even your love life. My one-year program gives you unlimited full-year support via mobile, Zoom, in-person contact and whatever it takes for you to get the maximum benefit in your career or business with astrology. Now go to the link in my blog chironfoundation.com on this article itself and book your time with me and let's get things started right away. And by the way, I have a live stream on my astrology forecast for the year 2024 that's coming up on the 31st of December 2023 at 8 p.m. plus 8 GMT. So do mark this on your calendar because in this live stream, I will be forecasting potential events that would likely occur in the coming year. Now, based on last year's predictions and how events unfolded in 2023, check out the great questions in my blog's article on the astrology forecast for December 2023. These questions are worth contemplating about until I reveal them in the coming astrology forecast 2024. So do stay tuned. This is Frederick signing off.